This is KRQE News 13 with Dick Niffing and Diane Anderson. Secrets are coming to the surface. The hidden Jewish heritage of who knows how many Hispanics is coming to light now through DNA and genetic testing. More and more families in northern New Mexico and southern Colorado are discovering there is more to their history than they ever knew. For some, the news comes with the realization they carry an increased potential for deadly disease. Here's News 13's Tim Maestas. A short hike up a small mountain west of Los Lunas. It's a spiritual journey for Bill Sanchez, a man who comes here to see this, the Ten Commandments, etched in stone. My belief is that uh, they came here to this mountain. Once he gets here, Sanchez puts on a yarmulke and a prayer shawl, and then he prays. Just like the prayer, the words on the rock are written in Hebrew. I believe that uh, here uh, are... Sephardic ancestors had a community where they worshipped freely. Over the years, some people have claimed this inscription is just a hoax, but Bill Sanchez says it's the real thing. The work of Jewish settlers who practiced their faith in secret up here hundreds of years ago. And he says he's living proof. 80% of my DNA is, is, is Sephardic Jewish. Sanchez is a priest at the St. Edwin Catholic Church in Albuquerque, South Valley. Inside the church, symbols of Father Bill's alter ego and the balance between the religion he's always known and the ancestry he confirmed through DNA back in 2001. Guess who's my father there? He's a little boy. Family secrets now make sense. That's his dad wearing a yarmulke in an old family picture. Its secrets are still waiting to be found. Sanchez is now working with other New Mexico Hispanics eager to learn about their secret past. I said to myself, al fin, aquí son mi gente. Finally, I found my people. These are the people that look like me, that have the same customs. Our family had been in the Pewaukee Valley forever and ever and ever. We thought that we were just the descendants of Spaniards that came into New Mexico. Research is showing Sephardic Jews held on to their religion in secret after leaving Spain and Portugal during the Spanish Inquisition, which eventually followed them to the New World. Now Hispanics in northern New Mexico and southern Colorado are finding out there's more to their history than they thought. Some things are starting to make sense. My grandmother, Nicolasa Chavez y Maestas, uh, she used to put a menorah in her front window uh, in early part of December. It's pretty clear Father Bill Sanchez and his friends are embracing their Jewish heritage. But for a group of people we met with here at the Swedish Medical Center in Denver, it really is a mixed blessing. This is our, our sister, Josephine Valdez Bissot. Jody, um, she did have the mutation the cancer gene. Family members of Therese Martinez are learning they have a genetic defect that makes them especially vulnerable to certain types of cancer. A small piece of DNA is missing from that gene and it renders the gene useless. It's not going to perform the way it's supposed to. We do bring up the fact that this is a mutation that is relatively common in Jewish ancestry. Geneticist Kelly Toff says the mutation increases the risk of ovarian cancer in women up to 60 percent and breast cancer by as much as 85 percent. The risk of male breast cancer was also increased along with pancreatic and colon cancer in men and women. Some of Teresa's family members who've tested positive for the mutation don't want to worry about the risk. I was tested in May. I found out the results in June and I had the double mastectomy and the hysterectomy in November. I have a cousin that she had a complete hysterectomy, had everything taken out, and had a bilateral mastectomy. She didn't want to take any chances whatsoever. Okay, well. Rosie Trujillo also has the genetic mutation. So we have two great grandparents here. A genealogical chart shows the impact on her family, who at one point settled near Taos. I lost my sister at 30. She's, so far, she's the youngest she had breast cancer. Rosie's grandmother, her aunt, and her great-grandmother all died of breast cancer. Rosie's daughter, Dina, died of ovarian cancer in 2006, six years after she and Rosie both learned they had the genetic mutation. Rosie's 100-year-old father has it, too. That confirmed that we really were Sephardic Jews. Rosie calls the genetic confirmation a mixed blessing. Despite the health risks, she's also embracing a new identity. I'm Christian, but... I am also going to the Messianic 
Jewish congregation. It's absolutely fascinating to see the intersection between the historical and the cultural and the, ge and the genetic and the genealogical that all seem to coalesce. UNM professor Stanley Hortys wrote the book To the End of the Earth, The History of the Crypto Jews of New Mexico. He says further study is opening new doors and answering more questions. We have the opportunity to save some lives here and that, that to me is the most exciting part of the, this whole research. Some say it's kind of sad it's taken so long. There most definitely is uh, a feeling that something was taken from us. Still, Bernadette Martinez says it's an exciting time. She confirmed her Jewish heritage through DNA testing three years ago. We have been hidden for almost 500 years. And that is exciting to me that, uh, that there is a God who so cared about us that he took us, hid us, protected us, and now he's saying that this is who you are. Tim Maestas, KRQE News 13. Fascinating. We have much more about this story on our website, krqe.com. There you will find the complete, raw, unedited interviews with some of the people that you just met. And you can also read more about DNA and genetic testing to learn more about your family history. What a great job Tim Maestas yeah. did with that story. That yes. was just riveting to watch. Very cool stuff. No question. And